Hello, welcome to the fifth video in my Roblox scripting series. Today we're going to be looking at instancing. In the previous video we learned about variables. I recommend you go check it out before you watch this one, else uh, it won't make much sense. So we're going to jump straight in. So instancing allows you to insert things into your game from a script. Now we can insert things uh, such as a part by just clicking on this button or by going to model, advanced objects and selecting something here but what if you want to insert something at a specific time or you know something that we want to use later on uh, we will use a script for that so let's insert a script into a uh, serve script service and I'm going to show you how to insert things from a script so um, what we're going to do to insert something into the game is we're going to use uh, instance okay so when you say instance uh, that just means like uh, an object in Roblox and then we want to say we, we want to insert an, uh, one of these so we say instance dot new okay and you can see here it says create a new object of type val um, so val is going to be the object that we want to insert so we say instance dot new and then we do um, a pair of brackets or parenthesis um, after the new and then inside these brackets we write the, the the name of the objects we want to insert so a full list of the objects you can insert can be found by going to model advanced objects and then you just find the uh, thing you want to insert so we're going to insert a part if we go to p there it is uh, in fact no, let's just search for it part that's what we're going to insert so you can insert any of those so in speech marks we just write part okay and it auto fills here so uh, once you've done that that will insert the object into your game now if we run here uh, you will see that nothing happens okay and that is because we haven't told the script where we want to put this okay so um, as I've said before, if you want to insert something that can be seen, you put it in the workspace as that's where everything that we see in the game world gets rendered. So we need to tell the script where to put this part. So there are two ways to do this. Um, the first way is to just put a comma after the, the name of the thing you want to insert and then you write the path of where you want to put it. Okay, so if I want to put it in workspace, I can just say comma game dot workspace. And if we run the game, uh, this is going to insert the part in the workspace. There it is. Uh, yeah, there we go. It got inserted. So, um, we've told the script what we want to insert and where it's going to be placed uh, in the workspace. But we can't actually give it any more information right now. The only things we can tell it is uh, it, what, what it's going to be and where it's going to go. They are the only two things we can pass to an instance.new um, function. So what if we wanted to give it some properties, maybe like, you know, give it some colour, maybe change its anchored property. Um, we need to change these uh, properties for something we want to instance maybe we want to put it in a certain location change its size etc so to do this we're going to take this instance.new um, calling of this inbuilt function and we're going to set it to a variable so let's just say local and we're going to give our variable a name so we can call it my part you can call it whatever you want and we're going to make it equal to this instance.new because when we call instance.new here what it's actually doing is it's creating this part and then basically it's returning the part that was created to this variable so my the the variable my part is now equal to the part which we just inserted now now that we've in now that we've made it a variable we can um, change the properties of this part so think of my part as just being the part that we just inserted we can now change all of the properties that a part has so we could say for example change its transparency and we could set that to 0.5 and we could say my part dot anchored equals true okay we could even set its position so I'm not sure if we've covered um, positioning things yet with vector 3 but you can set its position like this and you can put it in a certain place so we could say 555 five, five, and that will um, put it in, in that location so now if we run the game again uh, and we wait for it to load uh, the part should be created but it should have these properties assigned to it uh, as well so there we go, the part was created, it's five studs off the ground um, in its position, as you can see, there we go, 
uh, it's also anchored and uh, the transparency is set to 0.5 so you can change properties of the thing that you insert um, as long as you make it a variable now last part of this video um, I told you about this second uh, well actually telling the script where to put this 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 object by using the second argument in this um, function of game.workspace now this is actually bad practice and you shouldn't tell the script where you want the object to go until you've defined all of these properties because basically it it's just less efficient for the script to put it in the workspace and then change its property so the best practice is to actually get rid of this and just instance it like that and only provide to the instance function the name of the object that you're going to insert and then once you've applied all of these properties then you can say my part dot parent equals game dot workspace now you need to tell the script where it's going to go else nothing is going to be uh, instance instanced well it is but you're not going to see it because we, if we get rid of the parent um, the script has created it but it hasn't actually placed it anywhere so there is no part so we have to say um, my part dot parent and then we can tell it where we want it to go um, and that could be anywhere it could be workspace it could be server storage but we're going to insert it into game dot workspace and if we run the game there we go so for best practice put that parent right at the end once you have defined all of your properties so that was how you instant things in roblox studio i hope you liked this video it was a short one and I haven't done any of these beginner videos for a while I'm sorry about that but they will be coming back uh, again soon so if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe make sure to click the like button share it with anybody else uh, and leave a comment if you have any questions thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one